नमस्कार मेरे प्यारे दोस्तों मैं प्राध्यापक डॉक्टर राजेंद्र देशपांडे आप सबका इस वीडियो में सहर्ष स्वागत करता हूं जिस वीडियो का नाम है बी ए एम एस न्यू सिलेबस दिस इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सो दो टेकन द एडमिशन फॉर टू जीरो टू वन एंड इट विल स्टार्ट वेरी सुन दैट मीन्स अप्रोक्सीमेटली ऑन द इलेवेंथ अप्रिल टू फर्स्ट ऑफ मे this new college will start with that means new first year bms will start and they will have to study the new syllabus of each subject actually most many subjects they don't have any changes as such but some subjects have very drastic changes in the syllabus so one of the subject is padartha vidyan this ncrsm national commission for indian system of medicine has given much more importance to the padartha vidyan than before so they have chopped out this syllabus even they have added some important practical aspect over there and so the total marks given to the padartha vigyanam subject is uh, 100 marks more than the previous one so myself is professor dr rajendra deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology that is kai chikitsa and kriya shari i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel as well as follow me on my telegram channel which is exclusively made a group that has been made for the first year bms you please search the my account in the uh, uh, telegram huh? so we will discuss many things on the telegram as well okay so let us start with this particular aspect of syllabus of padarth vidyanam paper 1 so here you can see the course curriculum for the post profession sorry first professional bms that is first year bms prescribed by national commission s n c i s m the name of the subject is padarth vidyanam okay and the subject code can you see pv padarth vidyanam a uh, modern uh, nomenclature or english nomenclature for this subject given by n c i s m is fundamental principles of ayurveda and quantum mechanics remember this word quantum mechanics is a new term this particular terminology can be helpful when you propagate ayurveda in the european countries okay so we will go further but kindly note that this particular syllabus is applicable from 2021 to 22 batch onwards for 5 years or until further notification by ncrsm a uh, national commission for indian system of medicine okay so we are going to direct see the first professional ayurveda acharya that is bams okay and here is the lecture hours then paper 1 paper 2 non lecture hours non lecture hour for practical i am going to explain about this non lecture hours that means is nothing so much what you can say the complicated it is just uh, assignments or the discussions or some what you can say the open book test as well as the quiz test etc etc but we will see what is non lecture hours but here you can see the mark distribution for the padarth vidyanam subject theory paper 100 marks paper 200 marks this is 200 marks then practical component marks there will be practical of 100 marks this has been increased now huh? viva of 60 marks and elective set fb for 10 marks and ra internal assessment 30 marks so practical is of 200 marks this is very important huh? this is a big high score for the practical importance has been increased for padarth vidyanam previously only 100 marks practical was there now it is 200 marks so it is equal to the kriya sharir or the physiology subject it is equal this 400 marks are equal to the sharir kriya as well as to the rachana shar that means physiology and anatomy equal importance has been given to the padartha vidyan subject okay so this particular link of this uh, what you can say the ncism i i am giving in my description so you can go for that but now at this moment i will directly go to see the contents of paper 1 only in this video so kindly note this points ayurveda nirupana okay lakshan of ayu ayu iti jivita kala sharir indriya sattva atma sanyogo dhari jivitam nityaka anubandhascha paryaya ayuruchyate so this lakshan of ayu composition of ayu ayu means life lakshan of ayurveda hitayatam sukham dukham ayustasya hitayatam this is the definition of ayurveda swarup and prayojana 
ऑफ आयुर्वेदा स्वस्थ से स्वास्थ्य रक्षण आतुरस्य व्याधि परिमोक्षा प्रिवेंशन एस्पेक्ट एज एज वेल एज द क्यूरेटिव एस्पेक्ट दिस टॉपिक्स आर ऑल्सो हेल्पफुल फॉर द क्रिया शारीर सब्जेक्ट लक्षण एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिद्धांत यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंसेप्ट ऑफ फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सिद्धांत इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन यू हैव एडमिटेड फॉर आयुर्वेदा कोर्स बिकॉज मेनी पीपल विल ऑब्जेक्ट यू दिस आयुर्वेदा साइंस इज फाइव थाउजेंड इयर्स बैक और ओल्ड साइंस how it can be applicable today so try to explain them that the fundamental principles are eternal they are not going to change okay the what is change is applicability i will give you the simple example ayurveda has mentioned one of the siddhant of how you can examine the patient so there are three methods ayurveda has explained darshana sparshana and prashna so the same methods are applicable even in the modern science today that is inspection palpation and perscription and auscultation and interrogation so the principle remains the same applicable methods are different previously we used to see that body temperature by just touching uh, your hand on the forehead of the patient or on the throat region of the patient but now you are using the thermometers uh, so there are different uh, uh, you can say the applicability difference but the fundamental principles remain the same that is why ayurveda is eternal medical science not only medical science but this is life science introduction to basic principles of ayurveda and its significance next is the padarth and darshan nirupana in my telegram channel today only i have explained about what is meant by padarth lakshana this is very important enumeration and classification of padarth these are the different substances uh, bhav and abhav padarth presence and absence uh then padartha according to acharya charak that is karana padartha okay then etymological derivation of the word darshana that is the what you can say the philosophical sciences like sankhya darshana vaisheshika darshana yoga darshana so these are something uh, physical as well as metaphysical aspect of the human life classification and general introduction of nine schools of indian philosophy so darshan is nothing but philosophical books okay or philosophical thoughts with an emphasis on nyaya darshana vaisheshika darshana sankhya darshana yoga darshana mimamsa darshana and vedanta darshana ayurveda is an unique and independent school of thought that is philosophical individuality of ayurveda although ayurveda has taken many things from this nyaya shastra vaisheshika shastra sankhya shastra but ayurveda has made of its own philosophy okay principles and examples in contemporary sciences which will enhance the understanding concept of padarth relevance why we should study the darshana shastra and padarth vidyan in ayurveda next is a topic dravya vidyaniyam the uh, lakshana uh, sim, uh, the features of dravya substance classification and enumeration then panch bhut panch mahabhut five basic elements okay prithvi aap tej vayu and akash various theories regarding the creation theories of taitriya upanishad then nyaya and vaisheshika sankhya and yoga then shankaracharya charak and sushruta why, why, what they have talk about creation of the universe then lakshan and qualities of each mahabhuta you have to explain prithvi mahabhut aap mahabhut prithvi is earth aap is a water ah huh? prithvi jal jal means water tej is a fire vayu is a air component wind and akash is space or ether component okay next is a kal kal means time factor etymological derivation lakshan division of the kal units of the kal and its important significance then dik dik means uh, you can say the direction like uh, uh, east west north south action actually dik uh, this particular uh, philosophy is also useful nowadays for constructing the house okay lakshana division and significance atma is a soul principle again lakshana this is also included in the kriya sharir okay Physio uh, ayurvedic physiology lakshan classification seat gunas means properties ling the features according to charaka 
the method or the process of knowledge formation that is atman asya parivritti okay then purusha this is actually the prakriti and purusha energy and matter principle according to ayurveda ati vahika purusha like atma sukshma sharir rashi purusha and chikitsa purusha karma purusha and shad dhatvatmak purusha then there is a, a description about manas that is mind uh, ayurveda has a very deep understanding about the psychological aspect of the human being lakshana synonyms qualities objects functions dual nature of the mind ubhayatmakam as a substance of disease because psychosomatic illnesses are very common in our medical practice whenever the person comes to you there may be some psychological element uh, with addition to his physical problems okay hypertension has patient have always have tensions uh, uh, stress then this is a elemental diet on manas effect of the diet effect of the food is definitely on uh, the mana satvik diet rajasik diet tamasik diet etc role of panchamahabhuta and triguna in deha prakriti ayurvedic has a very important concept of deha prakriti or the genetic uh, disposition of the human being uh, geriatrics and also it can be compared with the biotype or the constitution then manasa prakriti psychological constitution tamas as the tenth dravya then principle study and application and importance of each karana dravya in ayurveda principle and examples in contemporary sciences which will enhance the understanding concept of karana dravya causative elements then after the dravya after the substance you will have to study the properties guna vidyanya vidyanya means science etymological derivation how that guna word has been formed classification and enumeration according to various darshana and charaka lakshana and classification of sartha guna guruvadi guna paradi guna these are the aq questions huh? they will ask write down the guruvadi guna write down the paradi guna then adhyatma guna so total you must remember these 44 properties then what is guna pradhanyatva importance of guna all our treatment is depend on which particular property of the vata pitta kapha has been disturbed okay practical and clinical application of each guna in ayurveda principles and examples in contemporary sciences which will enhance the understanding concept of guna third is a karma karma means actions or the activity or the function karma vidyanyam knowledge science of the karma actually sharirak kriya what is that kriya kriya is a karma activity heart functioning respiratory function these are all karmas introduction of the concept of karma according to the uh, darshan then i uh, uh, ayurveda okay then classification of karma then practical application of karma principles and examples in contemporary sciences which will enhance the understanding concept next is a samanya and vishesh these are the two what you can say the attributes when we compare anything either it may be the similar substances that is samanya or opposite type of the properties that is vishesha properties so samanya is a similar and vishesha is a opposite remember this term samanya similar vishesh opposite introduction of the concept of samanya according to the darshana and ayurveda classification of samanya practical application of samanya principles and examples in contemporary sciences which will enhance the understanding concept of samanya just give, uh, i can give the example now in the summer season the heat property is there okay and if you are eating spicy food chili food so that is also hot in nature external nature is also hot in nature so both are samanya and the person will suffer from pitta problems uh, hyper acidity type of problems so we take the cold substances vishesh vidyanya introduction of the concept of vishesh means opposite if i have the acidity i must take the milk which is very cold so uh, milk and acid are in opposite property so that is vishesh according to the darshan and ayurveda classification of vishesh practical application of vishesh principles and examples in contemporary sciences which will enhance understanding and concept of vishesh then 
समवाय विज्ञान समवाय समवाय संबंध रिलेशनशिप मीन्स इंटिमेट रिलेशनशिप फॉर एग्जाम्पल द्रव्य एंड गुण द्रव्य एंड कर्म दे हैव समवाय संबंध और रिलेशनशिप इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द कंसेप्ट ऑफ समवाय अकॉर्डिंग टू दर्शन एंड आयुर्वेदा प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ समवाय प्रिंसिपल एंड एग्जाम्पल्स इन कॉन्टेम्पोरी साइंसेस विच विल एनहेंस अंडरस्टैंडिंग कंसेप्ट ऑफ समवाय देन अभाव विज्ञान introduction to the concept of abhav according to the darshan and ayurveda class abhav is absence okay for example one person is having rh positive blood group o positive what is positive positive is a rhesus factor in some people that rhesus factor is absent so that is called as a o negative blood group so o positive is a presence and o negative is a absence that is abhav of rhesus factor practical application of abhav principles and examples in contemporary sciences which will enhance the understanding concept of abhav so i think this is all about the nine points are there with relation to the paper one of padartha vidyan i hope you have liked this video and i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel ayurveda academy and we are going to see the syllabus of paper 2 in the next video till then i can uh, what you can say the best wishes for your studies exams and for Uh, getting you as a best doctor in the uh, uh, in the society okay i wish all the best take care and bye bye